It was the most shocking move of the offseason. The beginning of the end for one of Formula One's most successful marriages. Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes. Lewis Hamilton wins the Turkish Grand Prix and is a seven-time champion of the world. To add an extra layer of intrigue, Hamilton won't make his jump to Ferrari until 2025, leaving many to wonder how his final season at Mercedes will play out. For their part, everyone is saying the right things. Business as usual, a united front, the same team first messaging that turned Mercedes into a dynasty. Our aim is to consolidate our positions towards Ferrari and McLaren, sometimes Aston Martin, and be at the forward part of that group. In the same time, as trying to race at the very front. This is our aim. We're determined to do so. Yet still, it's hard not to wonder. For the time in his legendary career, Hamilton won't be viewed as his team's number one driver. After all, George Russell is their future. He has to be the priority when it comes to upgrades, driver feedback, and race strategy. And the last time Hamilton experienced anything remotely close was in 2016, when his teammate, Nico Rosberg, edged him out for the world title, a rivalry that famously led to internal strife for the Silver Arrows. And Hamilton's in a massive crash, and he's crashed into his teammate. The two Mercedes come together. Do you think he was fair with you? I'm not going to get into that. You know, <laughs> I'm just going to move forwards and hope for the best. As tumultuous as that season was, this scenario is far different. In 2016, Hamilton was still the foundation at Mercedes, poised to win four more driver titles. Now he's 39 on a two-year winless drought and has one foot out the door to one of their arch rivals. It's obviously been emotional. It's very surreal to be here, given I came here in 2013. So 11 years with the team starting in my 12th, it's exciting. Of course, there's an argument to be made for a harmonious ending as well. After all, for more than a decade, no partnership has been more rock solid than that of Hamilton and Toto Wolff. But consider this, the pressure is mounting at Mercedes, desperate to reclaim their spot at the top. And for so long, Russell has been seen as the future. Now with Hamilton's move to the Scuderia, combined with Red Bull's recent dominance, Toto Wolff simply has no choice. The future has to be now, even if it comes at the expense of a legend.